A whole line of ships going down the river right here. I have this beautiful one behind me from Baltimore, which is super cool. Later on in the week, you'll learn a lot more about that. But I got to talk to a lot of people who are out and about here earlier today. Very, very excited to come back once again tomorrow. I am a pirate at heart. I love tall ships. Not even the 90 degree weather could stop Susan Kendall from enjoying this year's tall ship celebration to the fullest. Dressed head to toe as a pirate. The breeze, there's a nice breeze out here. Uh, the sun is hot, yeah, but uh, the breeze and actually it's a little wet, but it's cooling. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it though, right? It's worth it. That's because the event is dear to her heart. My mom used to come down here and watch them all the time and I, I just love everything about it. She's not alone. Many others braving the heat for the very first day. Just looking at the ships. It's so cool to see them. Many watching as those ships sailed into the city, some from as far as Spain. Evelyn and Richard Otte took a tour bus here from St. Louis, Missouri. I think it's really incredible here. It's beautiful. It really is. And they're looking forward to spending the weekend here. We're going to the festival. We're going to the festival. We're, yeah. going, to, we're actually going to be on one of the ships tomorrow. We have our passport and one of the parts of our tour is taking a cruise on one of the ships. I don't know which one it is, but we get to go aboard and take a little sail. Now, that first woman you saw in her pirate costume says she's going to be out here all weekend, and no matter how hot it gets, she's going to be wearing her pirate costume. So if you come on out, keep your eyes open for her. Also, there's tons of stuff to do, as David and Meg have been telling you um, throughout the rest of the day that you can do throughout the weekend. 